The southern range of the Appalachians is one of my favorite places I've ever visited. It's just a slightly more extreme version of the mountains I call home, with peaks towering well over 6,000 feet in elevation. The water flowing through these deep hollows and ravines is cold, incredibly clear, and holds an abundance of wild trout. It's been over a year since I last fished North Carolina, or anywhere in the southeast for that matter. So when I saw a three-day weekend on the horizon, I messaged my buddy Micah and asked if he'd be interested in doing a little backcountry camping trip. And before I knew it, we were pulling into the parking lot, packing our backpacks, and hiking into the mountains. All right guys, say hi to Micah. We have hiked a couple miles up here. I don't know how far. Made to the campsite. This is where we're gonna be camping. Got all these nice logs to sit at. We got the creek that we're gonna be fishing right here. And we've got my, like unlimited miles of stream down and up. With all native brook trout, I think, maybe. So we're gonna set up the tent, kind of get stuff prepared and then we're gonna fish the rest of the day. At least that's the plan. So, let's do it. All right guys, so I'm setting up my Euro rod because uh, it's kind of cold. There's actually a cold front coming through. It's one of the biggest or first cold fronts of the year. Um, so I'm gonna go with a jig streamer and I'm throwing this pink jig streamer because it's October and it's breast cancer awareness month or just cancer awareness month, I don't know. But yeah. We'll see if this will work. I have no idea if a pink jig stream will work, but I figured since it's October, can't go wrong with it. Mike is setting up the most flamboyant <laughs> looking rain fly thing I've ever seen. It was terrible right now, don't <laughs> No, I'm, I'm showing it. This is definitely making it into the video. All right guys, going fishing. We're gonna try to get on the board with our first brook trout, our first North Carolina brook trout. And my first North Carolina brook trout in like I don't know, a year or two years, something like that. We're just going to work up. This is what the creek looks like. We're just going to work up here. There's a couple falls up here that I think should be good this time of year. This is the first weekend of October, and the brookies should be pushing up to spawn eventually. Yeah. I oh, know, I might have to switch flies because it's too clear in my... Like I might like a black or something might be better than this real bright colored thing, you know? That I mean, Jesus. There we go. Wow, that's a big one. My first fish of the day. Where's he at? Oh, that's a, just a giant. Young of the year. Quite literally. <laughs> well, maybe not completely, but I mean, that's what we're after. And I caught it on the pink cancer awareness fly. So, I mean, at least it's a brook trout, but hopefully we'll catch some bigger fish than that today. Oh, a little bit nicer one. Oh, he's got a little bit of color to him. Oh, what you doing, buddy? All right, guys, so this is a little fella, but he at least has a little bit of orange to him. See that orange on his belly? Oh, he gone. That's cool, though. Still not a very big fish, but we'll find them eventually. I'll be honest, the jig streamer didn't last that long. The water was far lower than I had seen it in the past, and I felt like I needed to be just a little bit more subtle. After moving through a lot of good water without much luck, we noticed several fish rising and decided to try to sight fish for them with drives. Ah, he was up further. You son of a bitch. I see it. 
Eh, a little bit off, but closer. You'd think he'd come back for it. Well, there's a stick over there he's probably sitting at. Oh, he ate it. Or, yeah, it's weird. Well, it's because I don't have an actual like leader on. Shouldn't. I mean, it's landing nicely. It just doesn't have much of a... I'm trying to hit closer to that. Yeah, that's a cast. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. I got it. It's my biggest fish of the day. Yes, <laughs> now, how that was the hardest fish I've ever worked for to catch, but. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. <laughs> In my opinion, Southern Appalachia has some of the most impressive waterfalls on the East Coast. So one of our goals for the day was to make it up to a set of falls that I had marked on a map. I wasn't entirely sure what the falls looked like, but I wanted to get there before dark. Luckily, they didn't disappoint. Oh yeah, this is the fish I've been looking for. Or one of the fish. Come on, dude. Get the net. Let's go, dude. Yes. Oh my gosh. We have struggled so badly today, guys. I mean, I haven't caught a fish over six inches, I don't think. And to get this fish, oh, that means the world. He's not even that big, he's just, he's a male. He's a beefy male who's colored up. He's wide, he's lean, he's mean. He's a freaking sweet fish. Well guys, we're going back to camp. What would you rate today? About seven. Seven out of 10. He's being generous. Well, we caught fish, they were just all dinky. That's the big yeah, the big ones, oh my gosh. Almost fell over. The big ones eluded us. And we probably fished too long because it is now 6.28. And we're not back at camp. And we got to find enough wood to start a fire. And everything's wet in here because this hollow never dries out. So 
Should be, should be fun. Needing firewood was only an issue because for some reason we had decided to make this trip during the first major cold front of the year. And although temperatures in the mid 30s at night isn't the end of the world, we knew a nice fire would help us dry out our clothes for the next morning. After getting a fire started and eating some food, we settled in for a cool night in the mountains. One of the best parts of camping is the serenity of waking up and hearing the wind whistling through the trees and the creek flown over the rocks. Having no cell service is always a blessing and enables you to get away from the fast pace of the world we live in today. We decided to wake up and go back to the waterfall from the previous day just to relax and enjoy the scenery. We also wanted to let the air temperature warm up just a little bit before we started seriously trying to fish. All right guys, so we didn't catch any fish there. We didn't even see any fish there to be honest with you. Um, which isn't super surprising because we're like two hours or so ahead of what we were yesterday. And we're just gonna walk straight up to that other set of falls that's up here a little further. And then we're gonna basically start fishing above that because that's where we stopped yesterday. And we really wanna get up there and kind of fish the upper end of this when the bugs are hatching and stuff. Because it feels to us like it's warmer down here today than it was yesterday. Even though theoretically, according to the weather, that shouldn't be the case. But it doesn't really matter what the weather says. It matters how it feels. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head on. Hike another little ways up here and fish a different stretch. Oh, yo! <laughs> hmm. After we passed the second waterfall, we noticed a small tributary flowing into the main stem of the creek. Our curiosity got the best of us, and we decided to give it a few casts. Be cool to catch. I mean, there's no way there's not a brook trout in this hole. It's an awesome fish. Whether or not we uh, catch one, different story. But okay. There is no way there's not brook trout in this hole. Oh, got one. <laughs> Oh no, I'm stuck on a stick. I got him. You got him. I, 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 I. Yay. Wow, he's a pretty little fella. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, ow, dude, I'm so uncomfortable. All right, guys. The brook trout in the tributary of the creek, the main creek we're actually fishing. Would you chill out, buddy? Looky there. He's a little guy. Kind of this little waterfall hole. It's pretty cool. Thanks, friend. I knew there had to be a daggum fish in here, dude. At least one. There's probably more than one. Well, guys, when you get up to a hole like this, you don't miss anything. Probably not brook trout above these falls. Which is unfortunate because I feel like maybe they're up here at one time or I mean who knows maybe there are some way up here further but we're gonna go back to the main stem and keep on fishing because there's a couple tri other tributaries that are pretty close to the same size up a little higher so it might be worth looking at them but yeah we'll see 
The whole point of this day was to fish the upper ends of these creeks anyways, so we'll see what happens. These fish, they were up like where that tree is in the water, but did the fish just rise there or did a leaf hit the water? Yeah, another one rose. Another one rose, they're rising. Yeah, I see those. Is that a fish rising there? Do I need to put on a smaller fly? I'm not so sure if they're eating rods or emerging. Well, either way, they ain't eating what I got. Try again. I mean, I'm not that far. Oh, he ate it. Oh! It might be big fish. It might be, it's hard to tell. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. Gotta be. Well, I mean, I'll take it, dude. That was cool, though. You could see him come to eat it. Hey, little buddy. No, guys? There's another one just rose right there, didn't it? Yep, there it is. Well, guys? Yep. Here's a little fella. Pretty fish. So funny that oh we had another one rose okay i was about to say i might have to let them sit for a second i know so say how many can we pick off or i pick off eat it right it's just too far behind them they don't like coming back far do they no they don't which is normal i mean fair enough yeah oh another one a nice one rose right on that log That one. I think this is about how big all of them are, to be honest with you. Hey, little buddy. Little fella. Thanks, buddy. I mean, they're just rising everywhere. Yep. <laughs> oh, he came off. That's fine. That was a really small one. You're like, you put that on his nose, immediately eats it. <laughs> I think one of those are up next to that log after I did that, right? Yeah, that was, and I hope that, that wasn't the one you thought. God, I hope not. That would be embarrassing. That's right where I thought that one was. I saw one rise just above that a second ago. Dude, that thing, he ate it, and by the time, I can't even keep up with him. Would you get, oh God, these fish are too big for me, honestly. I don't think I can handle them. What's that? We might as well catch six inches where it looks like I should be catching six inches instead of where it looks like I should be catching 12s. You know what I mean? If I'm gonna catch a 106 inch fish, put me in a place like this. They're just like really picturesque. I mean, yeah, this whole amount, that's four. Oh, that looks like a nicer fish. Let's hit that. I don't know. I walked up a little bit. Nope, far cast. I just bounced it off that tree, which is not ideal. Are you sure you're not in the I'm positive. Does that answer your question? <laughs> you sure you're not in the tree? Brookie eats fly. Does that answer your question? Boy, they're all cookie cutter, I'll tell you that much. Whatever year that they spawned and made these fish, they were very successful. <laughs> Overly successful, in fact. You quite literally caught every fish that's really Oh, up there further? Okay. Uh, stand on my line somehow, some way, some shape, some form. I think if these little guys are eating. Oh. <sighs> a little bit. He's got at least. He's he grew got, a sandwich, right? Yeah, I was going to say, we grew a little bit on that one. <laughs> Dude, I mean, how many fish? Is it six now? I mean, we're catching fish. 
Ow, I'm getting stabbed. Chill out, brother. Thanks for playing. I think that's six. Oh yeah, I saw that one rise up there now. I like hook sets from this distance. I try to practice on one, especially when like after small fish. Oh yeah, there's some time to practice for them, but that was a can. My rod's bending, sort of. <laughs> More the water <laughs> I don't know why I keep trying to keep all these fish pegged, because like if they got off, I would not cry. Well, if they do that, then they'll screw up on the big one. Maybe the big one will be towards the head. Thanks, buddy. Fish number 69,000. There'll be more bloopers. I don't know where that went. Me neither. Oh. Oh, God. Ooh, it looked like a bigger fish, dude. Didn't it? It did. Made a little bit more of a bloop instead of a swoop. This fish was sitting dead center of that. Or that current. That's probably a nice one. Oops. Yes. Yeah, he did. Here's what? What is this? Four inches? Five inches? Three. Take it or leave it. Three. Take it or leave it. That's fish number 100 out of this hole, though. What, how am I at? What am I at? Big one? Oops. I'm not taking a scoop of what? Go on, buddy. That was like a pin. Did he spook? Or? There's a bunch of gravel right there. But I'm not joking. That was a nice fish. We didn't do anything. I think that fish got him fired up and like weird. I see it. I, mean, I lost him now. Where'd he go? Oh, he's still sitting down there. Oh. Oh, that was so... <laughs> He's just sitting on the very bottom now. That would have been a sticky to go. That would have been. He's just sitting down there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I can't believe that fish came up. <laughs> That's not even the fish I was looking at. I thought, like, what was that fish doing? This, look at this, look at this, look, look, look at the orange on this one. Yeah, he's getting, it looks like he's getting uh, followed up. <laughs> what is going on? That was the coolest thing yet. That fish is crazy. Well, guys, sight fishing for these fish in here. What a pretty little fish. Thanks, buddy. It's like he just randomly was like, I'm actually going to eat. I know. Well, that was like, weird. I thought he was spooked. Maybe he's like marking his territory. I thought he was spooked too. I can see, an I see another one right now as we speak. On the bottom right there? Right there, yeah. So here's the thing. What you just watched is about how the rest of the day went. We would catch up to a dozen fish out of a hole, but we didn't even really see a fish over eight inches. Which, to be honest, is somewhat normal for pre-spawn fishing. Usually, unless you know the general area where the trout typically spawn, it's tough to find a big fish this time of year. And then, even if you know where the fish spawn, you could argue there's an entire moral and ethical dilemma on whether you should even fish for them. So we made a rash, last-minute decision to hike back, pack up our camp, and completely leave the North Carolina wilderness. We decided that rather than fish for a bunch of six-inch trout for yet another day, we were going to completely change states. Which is how we found ourselves on our last day of freedom down a deep hollow in the middle of nowhere, Virginia. Alright guys, we have left North Carolina. We are now in Virginia. Fishing for some trout. And we'll see what we can come up with. I've never fished this stream. Micah actually has fished this before. Um, once he said he caught quite a few fish, so it's still fall. This stream should slash could have multiple different species of wild trout in it, so I should be able to catch something. You know, even if like let's say the brookies have pushed down to spawn or pushed up to spawn. I'm sorry, there should still be rainbows in here. Oop! I just spooked a fish of some sort. 
Didn't look very big. It was a trout though. Brown trout. Oh, yeah. Little fella. Also, apparently, have a knife with me. Oh. <laughs> That's what I use for camping, I guess. A little, uh, young, young brown. Yeah. Nice. I saw uh, he rose, and I was like, "Is that a fish?" And I cast it, and he ate. That's pretty cool. Now he's got himself all wrapped up in this thinking nymph. Why did you do that, dude? All right, guys, there he is. First brownie of my little Southern Appalachian trip on the last day. I'll take it. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, that's a fish, but I can't fish. That fish can't be bigger than three inches. Oh, that, that was actually a trout, I think. Assuming I wasn't just looking at a bubble. <laughs> How are they not getting hooked? I'm not doing anything weird. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh wait, I still have them. There's no way that's a trout. Oh, it is a trout, I think. Dude, listen. A little rainbow. Get you one in there, dude. Catch you a stub like I'm catching. Baby rainbow. Baby rainbow. All right, so now I've caught the trifecta this weekend. I've caught native brookies, wild rainbows, and wild browns. <laughs> well, good luck catching a three-incher. What is that? What? No, he's gone. I don't even know what it was. I don't know if it was a rainbow trout or a... I think it was a rainbow trout. <laughs> yes. I just, that's the second rainbow I've hooked in like three casts. Relax there, buddy. Chill, chill. Wild rainbow, okay, whatever. There's some real biggins in here, boys. Some real biggins in here. Oh, see, there's a big one. Oh, gosh, that's actually not a horrible fish. I was kind of being sarcastic, but I've seen smaller trout. Is there, it's like we've caught, I've caught rainbows like almost exclusively. Well, no, I caught that one little brown. Pretty little fellas though. Didn't catch any rainbows in North Carolina, so I don't hate it. Doubles. Wow. Put her in here. What is it? Another rainbow? I don't know. Ah. I just want to get fish on here. Yay. Double rainbows. Micah got one and I got one. Would you relax for There's one seven, second? Huh? There's like seven more up there. I Go ahead. Like Might want to try this hole with a nymph. I, I didn't I don't have a dropper on, so I'm just like making long casts and praying to God. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's decent. I didn't see anything in it, though, so what do I know? That one, just right there, look. Look at that. It's a little bit deeper. Oh, 
Ouch! I'm here, I just can't move. What is it? Here, hey. Well. Oh, you're good. Oh, it's a big rainbow, I think? Yeah. Yep, big rainbow. Here, hey, look at me. That's what we were looking for. I knew there had to be a bigger fish in there. Just wasn't eating the net or the strip or the. Oh, dude, that's a gorgeous box, though. He just wasn't eating my dry fly. Oh. That's cool. So this stream supposedly had all three species of wild trout, which is part of the reason we chose this stream to begin with. We figured even if the brown trout and brook trout were getting ready to spawn, the rainbows would be willing to eat, which clearly that had worked. On the last hole of the day, I decided to throw a small streamer through it just in an attempt to catch a slightly larger fish. And although I got a bigger fish, it wasn't exactly what we had expected. I'm gonna try to catch one more fish. Yeah. Hopefully a decent one would be ideal. All right, I'm good. You can I think, I think if I get right here, it'd be better. I don't know where it is. Oh, I just see it. Oh, I don't. Got one. Is that a wild? It's another stock rookie, I think. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm a stock rookie slayer, dude. Streamer time. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> I think a brown would eat this thing, not. You just need to stop thinking it's a brown or a rookie because it's. It's probably. And how in the world did I catch the wild rainbow? This is always stock. I don't know. I think it's another stock rookie. <laughs> yep. Well, are you brown? No, it's oh not. Oh my god, it's a rookie. <laughs> that one's a little prettier, though. It is a still stalker, though. It's the third stock brook shot I've caught out of this hole. Would you chill out? Stock rookie. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? Apparently, stock trout central is what it is. If you really want to know. Someone has been playing bucket pilots. I don't know, dude. It almost feels like they stalked the dang. From somewhere. They like green. Well, they're eating the native fruit. All right, guys. So we're done. I caught a trifecta, even though the brook trout was a stock trout. So I don't know if that even really counts. But they catch wild rainbow, wild browns. Our last day down here. Um, and yeah, it was pretty fun. We're gonna hike out of here and. Hopefully I'll make it home before midnight. I think after watching this video, you'll come to a similar opinion as I did after finishing the trip. And that is that the fishing wasn't the greatest, but getting away for a weekend and spending it in the mountains of Southern Appalachia is good for the soul. Of course, we didn't catch anything large and I could use a dozen different excuses like low water spawn or the fact that we were fishing during the first major cold front of the year. But even in perfect conditions, the fish don't always cooperate. So I think it's important to be able to have fun regardless of how the fishing goes and to enjoy your time in the mountains. I truly hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more like it let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.